In this video, I'm going to look at three typical problems that are asked in a beginning calculus course. The first one is to find the volume of the largest open-topped rectangular box that has a square base, and we're given the total surface area of 3,600 square centimeters. Now, because the box is open at the top, we just have the area of the base. If the, if the box was closed, I'd just have a 2 here because there'd be a top and a bottom. Uh, four sides, each x by y, and that total surface area is 3600. The, the volume which we want to uh, maximize is simply the area of the base times the height. Now, since I have two variables here, I have to get one, rid of one of the variables. So I come back to my constraint equation, the uh, surface area, move the x squared to the other side, and divide by 4x. That gives me a substitution for y. Then I divide the x on the bottom into the x squared on the outside, leaving me with x there, and then divide the 4 into the, the two uh, expressions on the top. I, I write it this way, and then I bring the x in because I want this as simple as possible. Because if I'm going to take a derivative, I just want this to be a, a very simple polynomial. And that's the next step in these problems. We take the derivative. Here's our derivative right here, fairly easy to, uh, to find. And uh, put the derivative equal to zero, which is standard for these types of questions. Move the 3 quarter x squared to the other side, multiply by 4 divide by 3, and then take the square root, and that gives us the value of, of x, uh, approximately 34.6. If you want the value of y, you just come over here and substitute that value in. That'll give you the y value. And if you want the, uh, the maximum vo volume then, um, this is it here. I, I got that volume by taking 1200 times 17.3. That's the x squared times the y. The uh, second problem that I'm going to look at, again a fairly standard question where you have a window, a rectangle, topped by an equilateral triangle, and um, again we want to find the maximum area, and uh, we're given the, uh, the perimeter, the fixed perimeter for this. Now, when I drew this diagram, I, I decided to put 2x along here because I knew I was going to have to take half of this base at some point because I have to figure out the area of the triangle. This just keeps my numbers a little simpler. By putting 2x along these sides, um, then when I go to take half the area, or half the base, I, I just get an x there. So if I add my way, and I just go around the outside because I'm just talking about the perimeter here, 6x plus 2y gives you 600. Then I look at the area of the window. Now the area of the window consists of the area of the rectangle, which is 2x times y, that's this part right here, plus, as I said before, half the base times the height, which is just xh. Now, this time I've got three variables. I've got an x, a y, and an h. I can take care of the y by um, dividing through here by 2, makes this a little simpler, and moving the 3x over. I've got a substitution now for y, but I still have to get one for the h, and I get that from the fact that I have a, a right angle triangle up here, and I can use the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus h squared equals the 2x squared, and, and get a substitution for x or 4h rather, in terms of x from that. If you're familiar with calculus, you might recognize this as being the 30, 60, 90 triangle, and uh, that triangle had a 2, 1, and root 3 on it, and you can very easily see why this would be root 3x. Now, when I go to substitute these in, I'm putting in, uh, for the y, I'm putting in the 300 minus 3x, and for the h, I'm putting in the root 3x. I multiply that out, and then I take the derivative. And once again, put the derivative equal to 0, 
I brought my x terms to this side and I factored out the x so that I could divide both sides by the coefficient of x here and that gives me my x value approximately 70.29 and the area for this uh, I've got it here in square centimeters if you want to convert that into square meters remember you have to move it uh, four places not just uh, two places and I got that area simply by going back and substituting in here I don't need the y to get that particular area. Finally, finding the area of the largest rectangle with two corners on the x-axis and the upper two corners on this parabola. Now that's an easy parabola to draw. It's uh, got its vertex at 0, 016. Um, it's just your normal y equals x squared turned upside down and moved up 16 units. And the area of this rectangle that's sitting inside this parabola is simply 2x. If you take xy as a, as a point on the parabola, you see the base of this triangle is 2 times x and the height is y. Actually, you could just maximize xy because if this piece over here is at a maximum, then the whole thing would be at a maximum. Now, this is very easy to do because you have a substitution right here for y. Just put that in for the y value, 16 minus x squared, and multiply it out. We're ready now to take the derivative. We put the derivative equal to 0. And then I just moved the 6x squared over here, divided by 6, reduced that a little bit, divided top and bottom by 2, and there's my x value. If you want it uh, approximated, just work this out on your calculator. You can go back up. Um, I, I put the x squared back in up here to work out the y. You can do that in a, in a couple different ways. And the, the area, if you just wanted the area, you could go back to here. Or if you already have the y, go back up to the top.